What's up YouTube? Welcome to another EJPT review. You've probably watched too many of these by now, so I'll just jump straight into it. So let's start with my background. I did not consider myself a complete beginner by the time I wrote the exam. I was ranked Pro Hacker on Hack the Box and Omni on Try Hack Me. This is pretty much all the experience I had at this point. In terms of preparation, in all honesty, I think the penetration testing student course prepares you adequately for what you have to face in the exam even when you're a complete beginner am i allowed to say that even though i wasn't a complete beginner oh well apart from doing the course content that includes the three black box penetration tests i did a couple of hack the box machines on the side just for fun it took me a couple of days to go through the pts course and then a couple more days before i could actually take the exam because i was waiting for my wallet to cooperate Come exam day, I wasn't as nervous as I thought. This was up until the point where the exam st started and I got a shell, a system level shell, within five minutes. At this point, I was hella confused. How? How was that? I just didn't get it five minutes? And I'm kind of a beginner? Is that the end of the exam? No. No, it was not the end of the exam, actually. I was in for a treat. So this was my first mistake and it wasn't going to be my last though, which was treating the exam like a CTF instead of an actual penetration test. I started doing some advanced exploitation techniques which were unnecessary but I did not realize that until the end of the first day when I went to bed with close to nothing but two answer questions out of the 20. So just before I closed off the first day, I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing to myself? I'm ranked pro hacker on hack the box and I'm omni on try hack me but I cannot answer 20 questions from an entry level certification exam. I was furious. Day 2 comes along and I start by taking a step back and revisiting the rules of engagement. That is when everything clicked like that. Start with the basics. Don't try to be a big boy. Like I mean that, start with the basics. Read your nmap results like you're supposed to. Find live hosts like you're supposed to. Just do all the information gathering and follow the notes and the course structure as outlined and you will pass the exam. You will do great, trust me. If you are stuck, don't try harder, enumerate harder. I honestly hate being told that, but it's the truth. It's really hard to picture or quantify what enumerating harder or trying harder would look like when in your mind you feel like well not in your mind when you feel like you've done everything you can and if you're at this point whereby you've done everything you can and you still have a day or two to go with the exam you probably weren't ready for the exam to be honest that is one thing i'd really like to emphasize if you're not ready and equipped for this exam like you're supposed to be you probably run out of ideas before you run out of time because you have three whole days you could sleep you could eat you could exercise you could play ball you could play rugby you could play fifa whatever you do with your sp spare time right you could do that in the three days and if you're still not ready if you weren't adequately prepared you will run out of ideas before you run out of time three days is a lot if you find something that looks sus in the exam and by sus i mean suspicious go back to the course find out how it was taught before you google it this way you won't miss anything because i kind of did start googling stuff and then when i went back to the course i was like oh yeah i'm just being dumb yeah it, it is what it is though like i mentioned you've probably watched a lot of ejpt reviews at this point i did not want to bore anyone with the details i like the structure the prerequisites and all that so what did we go through in this really short review? Just the bullet points, you know? Go over the black box penetration tests at least two or three times, okay? Make a cheat sheet in the process. A cheat sheet to make it. Everyone says make a cheat sheet and you should make a cheat sheet. If you don't have a cheat sheet, I said cheat sheet too many times. It's not a tongue twister. But if you don't have a cheat sheet, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Do you really want to be a hacker if you don't have a cheat sheet? But it's okay, no judgment for me. Do your due diligence. I always get that wrong. Due diligence, right? With the basics, the in-map, the information gathering, you know, those vibes. Don't treat the exam like a CTF. Do not, do not do that. That would be the one thing you would regret. 
come the third day and you don't finish and you fail don't treat it like a ctf all right you don't have to answer the questions in order i didn't you know some people tell you oh you can answer the questions in order from 1 to 20 hey bruh i was just vibing at this point i'm like question 17 15 8 6 1 just find what you can and hopefully you can answer enough questions i think it's 15 out of 20 to pass you be good right don't don't worry and then the last thing i think sixth i don't know i lost count drink coffee and take it easy i mean no hate on the people that drink tea but yo if you drink tea and not coffee mm, yeah i don't know what to think about you but it's okay man it's okay overall i learned a lot from the exam things like pivoting which is the bulk of the exam you should know that right yeah you should information gathering note taking etc so take your time to prepare for the exam it didn't take me that long but things differ for people you know situations time on hand etc so take your time make sure you're adequately prepared until next time try not to be a script kitty